Hey guys, uh, today is build day 220 and I'm going to do something a little different today. Uh, today's update is uh, I'm going to start off by just having a conversation with you guys going over a, a few topics that I, I mean to talk about, uh, you know, every time I shoot a video and I always forget. You guys know that we don't prepare, we don't rehearse, we don't make take notes, uh, we just wing it. And uh, very, very rarely do we do a second take. Um, you know, you get the first take and it's just the way it is. Uh, I also want to remind all the new viewers that, you know, we view and upload same day. Uh, so what you're viewing as an update happened today. Uh, so that is as live as it can get. So the first thing I want to say is, uh, you guys notice Wilma's not here. Uh, since first thing this morning, where do you think she is? <laughs> she's in the master closet. So uh, she's been asking me to bring uh, Balak Buy Unbox after Balak Buy Unbox, uh, one at a time. Uh, she's starting to empty out some of the wardrobes, uh, you know, just going through things and, you know, starting to organize, reorganize uh, what should have been done before we moved in. But you guys know the story. Uh, so uh, I will show you and she said do not show uh, what's going on I got stuff everywhere but I think you guys uh, well will get a kick out of uh, you know what uh, Typhoon Wilma is doing today so uh, I want to talk again about analytics and our channel so you guys know we're at 3200 subs and 85% uh, of the viewership is outside the Philippines uh, so only 15% of our views comes from inside the Philippines, someone who lives here. Uh, so that means for the most part, the viewers are coming from a first world country. Uh, and it's, you know, a few things uh, to note. Uh, about 50-50, and it's been like this for the year now. It's not quite a year. Uh, I guess in July, uh, the channel will be one year old. Uh, and we're sitting here in uh, April. Uh, so we're less than a year and we've been running pretty consistent. It goes 55, 45 and then down to 50, 50 uh, of subscribers to non-subscribers. And we've been running steadily. You know, when our channel first started, we were only getting two, 300 uh, views at a time. Then I went to 500 and then uh, a friend of mine, Mark Thornton, every man of a story, uh, came up and, uh, you know, videoed our build and we shot up pretty quick and then Geo. Uh, Geo in the Philippines did the same thing. Uh, two great guys, I call them friends, and uh, you know they really helped the channel. So again, once again, to, to Mark and to Geo, thank you uh, for your assistance. And you guys got us over a thousand uh, subscribers, and I think it was uh, day 28, so it was pretty quick. Uh, and then we've just been steadily just uh, showing our build, and we've went from that. Uh, I think we're around 1,200 after uh, a Geo came up and uh, did a video. Then we steadily grew it from 1,200 to 3,200, so call it 2,000 uh, subs, the old fashioned way, just by uh, doing videos every day, uh, you know, five, six days a week, getting them uploaded. Uh, you know, I answer all comments, um, you know, a lot of good back and forth, and we grew the channel over the next, say, six months uh, from that 1200 to 3200. So I want to thank you guys for that. But what has uh, happened recently is our subscription hasn't really gone up. Our subs ha haven't gone up, but our viewership has, which means now we're running about 65% of the views now are, uh, people who are not subscribed. So only 35% um, of our viewership is subscribed. So, uh, you know, I, I think it's time, and you guys know I don't ask for much. Uh, I think it's time for you guys to consider subscribing. Uh, again, 65%. So we've been running now about 2,000 views a video, which I think is fantastic. Uh, <clears throat> but over the last month or so, we're around 3,000, 4,000 views. So the channel is growing, uh, but it's growing with people who are not subscribed. So I just wanted to mention that. Uh, and again, I think it's interesting that 85% of you do not live in the Philippines. 
Uh, secondly, uh, we have a, a visit, another visit tomorrow, a subscriber, and this is going to be a real good visit. It's a little different. Uh, it's not an expat. It's someone who uh, is a Filipino-born citizen who moved out of the country, so an OFW, for almost 35 years. I won't mention his name, um, but uh, he uh, worked overseas for 35 years. Now, he has property uh, in the Dumaguete area. Uh, that he's had for a long time, uh, but he's getting close to retirement age, and he reached out. He's been a long-time viewer. Very looking forward to meeting him uh, because he's he's not an expat. He's actually a Filipino citizen, uh, grew up in the Philippines, and just moved his adult life out to a foreign country. Well, he's getting ready to retire, and he reached out asking a lot of questions about the area, and he actually asked for our architect's name. So I gave out our architect name and he's using him and uh, he's actually building his retirement home using our architect. So I think it's great. So he said, hey, when I uh, finally get to the Philippines, I would love to meet you. So I said, you know, fantastic. So uh, he's coming up tomorrow, Saturday, um, and he's coming up with his cousin. Very much looking forward to, to meeting him. Uh, again, Filipino citizen. This will be our first uh, visit that is a, a non-expat. Looking forward to it very much. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, get up and uh, just do a little uh, walk around and show you a little more progress of the garden, uh, as well as the gate is just about finished. And then uh, do a quick uh, update on uh, Wilma's walk-in closet. So let's, uh, let's go for a quick walk. So it's uh, late afternoon, and uh, I want to say uh, the UV index today uh, was again an 11. And, uh, and I always make uh, jokes about that. I've always seen the UV index being on a scale of 1 to 10. And uh, I got up today and I said, wow, you know, today is, uh, you know, definitely a, a bright day. And, and Felix was here today and finished up the gate. And he came to me and said, the sun is extra hot today. So for a Filipino to say that, uh, it's definitely hot. Take a look. Isn't that looking great? Still a little sand there. Uh, we got the rocks off the property. Uh, just a few left. That one right there is going to be a little bit of a challenge. And uh, we have the conduit here. The conduit is to run down uh, electrical lines down to the, uh, the column there for the gate, as well as to electrify the lights. Um, but we got one rock left to go. Uh, but just take a look. Still, still got some uh, work to do. And I have my selfie stick, so I'm going to use my selfie stick as the pointer today. A um, little bit of work to do here yet, but overall, it's really coming out nice. What a difference from what it uh, looked like during construction. Uh, do you guys remember this area? There's a video uh, back when the uh, excavator was here, and this was like a mud pit. I don't know if you guys remember. And uh, remember the road that we created? Uh, it's right over there. We created a road to go to the ravine where all the rocks went over because uh, you're only looking at, uh, you know, maybe 20% of the rocks that was on the property. Uh, not even that, probably 10%. And uh, the vast majority went over that uh, ravine. Uh, so uh, take a look. There was a lot of rocks in this area that we thought we were going to have to deal with. Now, we can always bring rocks back in to be part of the uh, garden uh, if we want to. But we want to start with raw, raw land. Um, here we go with the uh, rock wall. So I said that we we're going to push cleaning that to next week because we wanted to focus this week on uh, getting this uh, garden ready. So just a little bit more work there. A little more work over there where the sand is and we're going to be ready to go this is at least six to eight inches all tilled nice dark topsoil i think it's going to really be able to grow uh, whatever we plant very well a lot of you guys were asking about uh hey are you going to paint down below remember that wasn't painted there so uh, we got that done today so all painted uh <clears throat> the gate needed a stop so it's just simply um, a welded piece of angle iron, uh, strategically placed uh, to, to be a, a base, a, basically a stop for the gate. So that got installed today. Remember I mentioned yesterday that we were gonna 
put in some additional rock and try to get the rock to be just a little bit higher because we need all the height we can get uh, to try to build this area up with dirt. So uh, Janelle is actually starting uh, from this corner and, and working his way back and trying to get it as high as we can uh, without having it too high where you know any massive rain will knock these rocks down into uh, the area where the gate will be sliding. Uh, still have our weep poles, and we decided to put one on that side. I don't know if I mentioned that to you guys or not, but uh, when I backwash the pool, and I've been vacuuming the pool about every three days, and what I'm noticing is there's not very, that, not many leaves left uh, because see the tree up there? That's the tree that was giving us all the leaves. Um, see how green it is? So I think it was going through a, a little Filipino autumn, uh, just like uh, this tree over there had not a leaf on it, now it does. So we're not getting leaves anymore, uh, but we're getting dirt. So I think the dirt's coming from here and up by uh, the pool area. Uh, so we definitely got to get some uh, grass uh, planted up there. But when I backwash the pool, the backwash line ends right about here. Just past this area here. Uh, right about here. So when you backwash, for those uh, who have a pool know, you create a lot of water. So what we first thing we did was we widened our stone here, if you notice. Uh, we put more stone along this side uh, and we put uh, more rocks you can see remember I said there was a lot of stone uh, like a softball size so what we did was we dug out the dirt and put about uh, 18 inches of, of uh, larger stone and then we put more of the uh, landscaping stone on top uh, just to get the uh, the water from not eroding the uh, dirt when we do the backwash but what I'm noticing is the water's coming down right about here. And it's hitting here, and there's no weep hole. And, uh, you know, that, that got by us. We didn't put one there. And it's turning and going down the wall, and it's finding this weep hole perfectly. And you won't see any water here. It's all underneath the rocks. Uh, and then it, what it does <clears throat> is it kicks out right here, and then this area here accepts all the water and it goes down to the uh, to the to the road so we definitely need a weep hole here so we had two left so I said go ahead and uh, you know put one here uh, so we're going to do that and you can see Janelle grabbing the last of the rocks so he'll get that in tomorrow and that leaves one left so we're going to go ahead and just install it uh, though I don't really think we need it but we're still gonna we're still gonna do it um, there is one wee pole right there down below these rocks. So there it is there. We're going to put it here right at the base of the concrete there at the bottom going out uh, just in case a lot of water comes this way and topples over. I don't think that's going to happen, but if it does, it won't puddle and then go that way out to the driveway. It'll find the uh, wee pole. Take a look at the gate. We're calling it done. Let me get back up on the driveway here. Looking good. That's a few bags of cement that I have left. So we got to get that out of there. Uh, all the track has been painted. All the touch-ups done. We've got another guide up there. So the, uh, the gate has a place to go. And in case we get any uh, you know major wind. Because this is going to catch some air, right? Now that's one of the reasons why we didn't want the gate going all the way up. Uh, that would really catch a lot of uh, wind, uh, but we also, you know, don't want to live in, uh, you know, in a prison. So we wanted it to be open as possible so we can see through. But we got the locks on inside now. So we'll be able to, to lock the gate on the inside, lock the gate on the outside when we leave. The man door, we can lock from the inside. But the decision was made, and some of you commented on this, um, not to put a, a lock here, and we didn't. And I'll tell you why. If we put that same uh, type of lock like this, that would be smaller. Uh, when you roll the gate back, guess what? It would hit right here. And we wouldn't be able to open the gate all the way. So 
So I said, you know what, if we go for a walk, um, we'll just open the gate um, and you know probably won't even lock but let's say we're going on a long walk for several hours we'll just open up the gate here and just put a padlock right there uh, if we feel the need to lock uh, if we go for a walk so the decision was made uh, not to put um, any lock there now we're gonna put a handle there but we just haven't gotten to that yet so the last of the uh, stone Right there, you guys saw it yesterday, is coming up onto the property. And we're gonna be able to call the gate completed with paint, all the touch-ups done. So the last thing that needs to be done here is the electrical and the seven lights. Uh, the seven column lights, as well as electrical for the future uh, gate opener. And uh, there's no date when we're gonna do that. Um, I mean, with everything else that we need to do. Uh, and then we'll also, we want to do some travel. Uh, I'm just going to say six months from now, we'll take care of that. Or when Wilma gets tired of uh, opening the gate every time we go out. So let's take a walk up. And see if we can surprise Wilma. Now she's probably going to give me the look. Because she said, please don't <laughs> have a video. But uh, I want you to see how hard she's working. Uh, this is all the work that she wanted to get done um, while we are moving in. Now she may have music on, so we'll see. Knock, knock. <laughs> Surprise. You'll be showing all my mess. <laughs> I don't think anybody minds. They follow our channel, they know. Um, so look what Wilma's doing. She's going through everything. Uh, Balak buying a box at a time. Uh, <clears throat> all those, all our clothes was all washed and folded before we moved here. But she's going through and wiping everything down. And uh, you've been at this since about 8 o'clock this morning? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, it's a big mess. Yeah, it's a big mess. But you're, you're getting it. So I'll just, just show this real quick. Uh, she's got ladders in here. Uh, she's starting to put uh, some shoes, some pocketbooks, some clothes, you know, some more shoes. You know, little by little, she's starting to filter uh, stuff in. So, uh, whew, how many more hours do you think this is going to take? How about days? Oh, days? We're not going to measure it in hours. We're going to measure it in days? Days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh this is what Wilma's going to be doing the next several days. And uh, what we'll do is uh, once it's all said and done, I did say on yesterday's video that we'll come back and uh, show everybody your, uh, your dream closet. That's what we're calling it now. Dream closet, uh, all complete. Talk to you later.